Returning to my channel, Coin Lady, I want to say hello to everyone. Having accomplished my goal, finding the unicorn, today is an exciting day, my friends. Absolutely insanely. I have yet to come across a single credible chart expert who honestly thinks XRP will underperform this market cycle. There are now experts predicting that XRP will have a terrible market cycle and end up ranking somewhere in the top 10. You should never own this coin. An S-word coin, that is. You have heard it everything, you can locate those analysts, but RP dumps you. What I mean is that whenever I've come across an analyst who has predicted that XRP will have a lackluster performance, or even a bad one, I've always been able to trace their prejudice against XRP back to their past predictions. And for what reason? You know what? People, there are always reasons. Their XRP derangement sickness is real, and it's preventing toxic Bitcoin maxi trolls from interacting. I have stated it many times in the past few months, but I have yet to encounter an established expert who is both credible and has not publicly shown any bias against XRP, who predicts that it will not do well. Regarding its nature. So, there are a few ways to define prejudice, depending on whether you're talking about the good, bad, or ugly aspects of it. So you're coming from a utilitarian perspective, or you can be prejudiced based on your expectations for its impact on the church. What I mean is that right now, it would be hard to find someone who wasn't prejudiced against XRP's functionality, but also predicted that it would be a failure. Now I'll fill you in on the details, but this expert is predicting that it will drop to 13 cents or below this year or early next year. However, I must emphasize that I am not providing financial advice and do not possess any sort of financial experience. By the way, you shouldn't base any purchases or sales on what I say, okay? I'm just a curious bystander that loves to vlog about cryptocurrency on YouTube, but only as a pastime, for enjoyment only. Now I'll tell you this, regardless of whether he's right or wrong, and this is before I tell you a lot of what he said. On this issue, he is, in fact, in the minority. But I'll claim he can't be if he's right and all. Occasionally, the unlikely occurs. No matter how low XRP goes, it won't affect me directly. As is normal in illogical markets, it is simply due to people bouncing off each other. Since my bet will remain unchanged even if XRP reaches its all-time high in 2018, I will keep hoping that this is all just speculation and that there is nothing inherently wrong with XRP. Either it will go to zero, or it will set a new record. That's what I predicted. However, it will not flit about in a haphazard manner indefinitely. Yes, that is possible and has occurred, given that it has been consolidating for six years. Right now, that's our situation. Nearly six and a half minutes have passed. However, it will not remain in one place indefinitely, or we're completely mistaken, and it's not worth a dime. Therefore, I will patiently wait for the decline in my wealth, regardless of his validity, provided that it is not caused by a fundamental issue with XRP. That, though, has my doubts. I feel compelled to bring attention to this unfortunate individual as well. By the way, the blockchain supporter released a video today. Additionally, he is really level-headed. I would say that if he mentions feeling a bit thrilled, it's for a good reason. He is also meticulous in how he presents facts. And I admire that quality in him, it's admirable. You know you should be paying attention when he starts to say, hey, I'm getting excited, which is something he usually doesn't do. Therefore, he is currently making a beeline for the market. For XRP in particular, he has said that, according to the Wyckoff accumulation chart pattern, we are likely in the spring phase of the accumulation cycle just before the sign of strength of following a significant upward impulse, becomes apparent. I guess that's where he sees us. So, I see remarks like that from the vast majority of analysts, in fact, I identified the lone exception to that rule today. I want to make it clear that the reason I'm bringing this up, 
is that I have no problem sharing varied viewpoints on my channel, even if they sound bad towards XRP. Thus, Olesia Risani, a chart analyst, is the subject of our discussion. I think he's fantastic, and I featured his work on my channel previously. You won't believe him. From what I can see, he is entirely forthright in his thinking, he boasts an enormous fan base on departure yes, that's a lot, 67,900, but he has, as you can see here on YouTube, about 385,000 subscribers. The video he posted recently is this, following that, I seen this video the day before. XRP is facing some difficulties. Allow me to explain. Cryptocurrencies at the moment. Examination, and he meticulously dissected it. Now I'll tell you what I think and the main points of this. Also, watch his video if you're interested in learning about wave counts and other technical analysis concepts. Just so you know, Olesio isn't anti-XRP. He is also not making any news or utility-based forecasts regarding the future of the XRP price. We are not discussing XRP news here. Regardless of any lawsuit-related news, the SEC v. Ripple case isn't actually about the functionality of XRP. This is why I reiterated my previous statement, even if is correct. I will not alter my course of action, instead, I will continue to hold on to my XRP. Why? Because utility matters have always been and always will be my investing thesis's deciding factor. Also, I'm willing to admit defeat if my assumption that people care about coins use is incorrect. To be honest, I don't buy it. For the avoidance of doubt, he is solely describing the chart formations that he has observed. That's all. I don't need anything else clarified. To the best of my knowledge, he has never been anti-XRP, and he is adamant that he is emotionally detached from the situation. He spends two or three minutes in the video stating as much, perhaps in an effort to deflect criticism that he is not a hater. And I think it's great that he did because, one again, it seems to be accurate. To emphasize the point, the price of XRP dropped to 16 or 17 cents, or whatever the bottom was immediately following the news of the 2020 SEC lawsuit, which led to its devaluation. At the time, he was long XRP, which he made public in a YouTube video. And here is a few days, or more, after the lawsuit, following the precipitous decline in XRP price. The man claimed to be long XRP. More than two charts were used for this purpose. The news was unrelated. Importance was irrelevant. Both then and now, for him, it's all about the charts. He also predicted that XRP would reach a new high of $1.30. Because of that call, people felt he was crazy. Presented with the SEC. There were a lot of interesting folks in the group, like Rand Nowana, but XRP is going to drop out of the top 10. Michael, the chart analyst, was at your disposal throughout a well-known crypto expert, Michael van der Pop. Stating that yeah, XRP won't have any real impact. We all know that. I don't remember the exact figures he provided, but he said that if Bitcoin reached a certain price, everyone would have made hundreds of thousands of dollars. What this indicates is that XRP's value will likely increase by a significant amount, perhaps reaching 50 cents, or something equally absurd. Although XRP's price was artificially suppressed by the SEC, fewer people bought it than they would have due to the obvious fear it inspired. As is well known, nonetheless, XRP eventually broke much higher than even Olesia Rissani expected, hitting $2 last cycle. Because of this, XRP was the only coin in the top 10 by market cap from the previous cycle that did not reach a new all-time high before the bull run began. Isn't it a coincidence that there is only one reality? However, he is still pessimistic about XRP at the moment. Plus, he predicts that XRP will return to 13 cents in 2025, perhaps later this year or early next year. He thinks this is quite likely. 
I got the impression from watching most of the video that he thinks the 2020 XRP lows need to be retested in order to find support. To be clear, XRP hit a low of around 10 cents in 2020. He does, however, add a qualifier, what will what will precipitate all this occurring, since he claims this can only happen if the price of XRP must fall below 35 cents for this to occur. Thus, he concedes that XRP is somewhat constrained by its range. However, he warns that everyone should hold on to their hats in case XRP drops below 35 cents. Basically, if that level is broken, it will break down extremely fast. According to him, that level is the one that must be reached. For XRP to see a significantly more severe collapse, to 13 cents, eventually, it is necessary, though it is not guaranteed, that the 13 cents would be achieved simultaneously. After a precipitous decline of perhaps 20 to 22 cents, he made it quite apparent that he believes a pit stop may be possible. However, he does believe it would persist until it reaches 13 cents. My channel would be greatly appreciated if you could subscribe and like it. Goodbye, and see you in the future video.